Hi everyone, we're back. We're gonna try this again, take two, it appears, because while Steve was trying to get everything reconnected, I just verified with our internet service provider and Facebook if there was having any issues. And so it looks like there's some instability in the network. So we're gonna hopefully try to get through this. So um, let me just recap. We're doing 14 inch Dollar Tree wreath frame. We're using a 20 inch navy and cream deco mesh. We're gonna do the ruffle method all through the whole base. Sign came to us from Hobby Lobby. Lobster that we're using in the design was from the Boston Airport gift shop. And then I'll go over the ribbons once we're getting through to the ribbons. So I thank you if you're joining us for a second time. Um, I'm about halfway, so we'll go from there. Let me recap for those of you that are just joining us. Um, if you'd like, to um, save this design for when you have all the materials available for yourself, click the share button below. It'll share this video to your page. It hopefully won't come in more than just two pieces. Um, and we'll try to splice this together afterwards when we go into final editing. Um, if you are new and joining us for the first time, please let us know, we'd like to welcome you. Let us also know where you're from, because sometimes you make that crafting connection through a Facebook Live. Let's see. Um, if you'd like to be notified when we go live, make sure you're hitting the like and follow button. That allows you to get notified whenever we go live. Right? Yep. You two people. This is from a Facebook Live for Friday. April the 30th, last day of April. Man, we've already made it through the first quarter of 2021 already. Yep. Um, Hi, Janice. Welcome to the first time being here. Where are you from, Janice? Thank you, everybody, for joining back. Yeah, we'll see. Have you guys heard anything through the Facebook world? Has anyone else been having issues today with their Facebook Lives? Um not sure if it's you know you never know with technology we rely on it so heavily and then when it doesn't work we get so upset yeah and okay. um, yeah steve does a lot i'm like just need to take it down from a 10 to like a two and to just realize there's nothing we can do you know worst case scenario if it completely goes out we just re-record it when we're finished post it on facebook and hopefully It'll take the video upload. What else was I talking about? Um, I did the like and follow. Hi, Joyce. Welcome, everyone. This is my favorite all-time mesh, if I haven't mentioned that earlier. I think this is officially my last roll, though. It was hard to come by for all of 2020, um, so I'm going to have to go and dig and try to find out where I can find more. Because I really like this for summer. I love it for patriotic holidays. This will look really nice uh, in Christmas. Anytime you need a navy and a cream. We also have Sue Weller watching from Australia, which is Saturday morning there. Wow, thank you for joining us all the way down yeah. under. So I know, based on this design in the past, I'm not going to be using any of my pipe cleaners on the inside. So I'm just removing those as we go. Because it's going to occupy all the space between the lobster, the sign, and the boat. There will be no real estate. It's going to be very minimal. I want to thank you for the inspiration. You're so welcome. Lisa said, I'm making a wreath tonight as well for a donation for a raffle to support small businesses. So awesome, Lisa. What are you making? What is your theme? I think that would be interesting to do stuff like that. We've done that in the past. We've yeah. done them for pet, like pet fundraising. Mm -hmm. What else have we done? 
done a couple. I did one for cancer research. Um, I don't think of any more off the top of my head. What said I've been getting the navy and cream and green and cream at Hobby Lobby. Green and cream. Yeah, I think there is a green. Are you are you referring to the burlap and navy and then the burlap and the cream? There's also burlap and black as well that Hobby Lobby sells. I love those colors, by the way. Um, I don't think it would have worked as well just because the sign is more a true white. There's really no beige in it anywhere. Yeah. So it wouldn't have fit like for me. Yeah. Well, this one's a white weight. Mm -hmm. So. And so I'm using the ruffle method just because I want a full, wide, wavy kind of base to simulate the water. I opted not to do cruffles just because with cruffles, you kind of have to, if you're gonna put a lot of embellishments and a sign and a bow, you have to kind of work through the curls. And with the lobster, it's just a little too much fighting. Okay. Four, two, three. Hmm. Let's see what ends up happening. Looking at my mesh, and this particular mesh you have to cut with a rotary cutter just because, um, I was like trying to think, did I have a piece of mesh in my hand when I was walking around? Because it looks like I'm short one. Mm. Yeah. And normally it's like, sometimes it tips out of my cart. Can you look in the um, closet? I'm hoping, 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 hoping. I don't know though, most of the time I use this right to the very edge. And I'm trying to think of where I walked to because I thought I had a piece in my hand. If not, look on the shelf with the blue deco mesh, Steve. I know I counted 18 pieces. And now I'm like, I bet I put it down. It's one of those, one of those. Oops, and I forgot to take the one out in the center. Here we go. Let me remove this one real quick. Three, four. Well, we are having a bit of a heat wave out here in Southern California, which hasn't been very fun today. We're back in the 90s today. I am looking. One, two. That I wired these correctly. That I didn't. Oh, you passed them. Yay! Okay, now watch. The minute I cut this, you'll find it. I'll find it. I'll be like, oh, it's right there on the floor. Right here. <laughs> I was like, let me just look. So I was like, I knew I had it. Never mind. I don't know how it wound up on the floor behind me of all places. Always make sure you have plenty before you start your designs. And before you go live. <laughs> and before you go live. And that if you go live and you have broadcast interruption, if you're walking away with something in your hand, which I was, that... Um, 
Right? But now I have to go well, find. Well, we roll too, so. Yeah, I was good. I had a whole nother roll. Okay. So now we'll fill this back in. And then we're going to start our bow, believe it or not. We're going to lay everything where it needs to go, and then we'll, we'll focus on the outside embellishments. So as you can see, very full wreath. I love this particular um, mesh just because it's very soft. It weathers really well for being a, what do you call it, a jute mesh blend, meaning that a, you can't cut it with a wood burning tool because it's got all those natural cotton fibers in it. Um, let me go ahead and remove this. So you have to rotary cut it. Now, if you notice that your mesh is fraying just a tad too much, you can finish the whole design, then come back in with an E6000 adhesive spray. It's like watery glue. And you can spray the whole thing, focusing more along the edges because it's where the deco mesh ends or cut. And the more you play with it, the more it frays. I guess Ruth saw it fall out of your cart about three minutes ago. Did she really? Yeah. I'm and see, I don't have something that I can reference. Am I just grab another piece? Yeah, me. I don't know. Okay, so let's get our bow. Um, the ribbon we're using is going to be a two and a half inch red and white stripe, a red Swiss dot. Going to use some two and a half inch lobster. Welcome, to Joyce. You also said first time here. And hi, Don. Hi. Don Baranski's on, huh? She's been on in a while. Yeah, that's true, huh? She's up in Fresno, right? Yeah. Um, okay, so these are the color combinations I have. So the two and a half inch, we're actually doing three two and a half inch ribbons, and then three inch and a half, and then I'm going to come back in in the bow and we're going to add in just a little bit of the jute flex tubing so the first thing you've got to do is decide what's coming first um and since we're blending two reds and one blue we're going to do it like this so these will be my first out of the gate then we're doing this Oops this and then um, this water. So where they all come from, um, Craft Outlet. The blue jean, the dark denim is Hobby Lobby. The lobster is from Craft Outlet. Craft Outlet for this one, Craft Outlet. And then this was Joanne's uh, 2019, yeah. So that's how they're gonna go in our Bodabra. So we're gonna start with this one little bit different. Measurements are all still going to be the same though. So we're going to dovetail, which means to bring your wired edges together. You're going to go from your folded side right to that wired point. So how far up into your um, fold will determine how deep that V is. And I like mine to have a little bit of a deeper V. So we're going to go with 10 inches. Move this. Hi Carmen, happy Friday all. Let's do it like that. So we're using a bow dabra, so it's always gonna be about the twist. So you start right side fabric, then twist to wrong side. You'll bring this up and over. We want about a five and a half inch loop. So I'm gonna put this right on the 10, pull this all the way out into my five, between my five and four. Make sure that it's five and a half inches. And we're gonna do the same here. It's always good just to measure to make sure. And then all the way back out, 10 inches. And then we'll dovetail this one. Oops, didn't quite be that one down as far as I'd like. So I love this blue jean. It comes in a faded or just the regular standard. It's got the little phrase on the end. And it's wired all the way through. 
This one's going to be at nine and a half inches. And it's just going for that darker denim look. That's kind of, this is all kind of laying on top of the ribbon, which I'm not crazy about. We're gonna do five inch loop. And bring this back around. Remove some of this excess. Just because it feels like a little too much. Make sure. And then nine and a half inches. Okay. There we go. That one's all done. I, like I said, this um, comes in Hobby Lobby's non-seasonal department. So every other week, Hobby Lobby's either gonna have florals on sale or they're going to have a uh, ribbon on sale. So I'm not really sure which week this is, if this is floral week or non-floral, but normally if I'm going to purchase ribbon on Hobby Lobby, if it's not on sale when you go in, say tomorrow, go Monday and then it'll be on sale at 50% off. And I love this lobster ribbon. And it's going to be nine inch tail. And this will be a four and a half inch loop. Let's turn this in. I think I need to bring it in a little bit more, like a lot. There we go. About this time I'm used to the thinner ribbon because we're normally half inch. So there's my four and a half out to nine. This would make a great display piece for someone who's like at your local farmer's market who sells uh, fresh fish, seafood, It'd be a cute display piece. There's that. And then, let's see so said this is ribbon week? It is ribbon week? Okay, so up until tomorrow, all their ribbon is 50% off in the non-seasonal area. Yep. Thank you, Barb and Angie and Hurley. Yeah. Yeah, I'll double check. Yeah. Thank you. I'm like, do I need ribbon? No, I need florals. Which sucks because I should have went last week and got my florals. Um because it's always a good time when um, Hobby Lobby's doing 50% off on their florals to get all your fillers, all your greenery that you like. So this one's gonna be four and a half inches, so I'm just using the bottom four and a half inch to help me make my measurements since I've already measured that. So it's gonna feel a little bit big. Okay. All the way to eight and a half. This one's like really super thick canvas, yeah. so it's like painted on. So now we'll do our Swiss dot, and then we'll finish up with that little wavy water pattern. I was like toying with the notion if I wanted to do um, a whale wreath or um, lobster. So I was like, mm, we'll do the lobster. So this one's gonna be four inch. And then four. Yeah, the good for you. you said that I just found a bunch of wire ribbon in Hobby Lobby's fabric area. Mm. Yeah, I noticed that they've been pushing that stuff into the fabric area as well. And that's kind of odd because I've never I've never seen it there before. 
remember like when we were there looking for great finds and we we're like what's this ribbon doing here yeah we've never seen ribbon in the fabric section there we go last one okay should have enough if not i brought out my other roll of just in case those are my always just in case rolls, meaning if you have a bad splice in the middle of your ribbon, and sometimes you have to redo your whole bow because there's not enough. Um, we're good here. Okay, so this is going to be a three and a half inch loop. Yeah. Well, Kathy said the clerk didn't even know that they had ribbon back in the fabric. So right? she was glad she searched there. Very good. Oh, Carol Awesome, she said my Dollar Tree got a big shipment and a 14 inch wire read for us. That's when you want to stock up. So I don't even figure out like how many I do in the course of the year. And I think that's something I, I need to be a little bit more proactive on is saying, okay, if I use Ooh, how many wreaths do I do a week? Mm -hmm. I have to figure that out. If it's like 100 per year, then you need to make sure you have 100 of those ready on the standby. Because here's that thing, right? We got comfortable with them always being there. And then when they're not, we're like, what are we going to do? I'd say for you, at least during a regular months, at least three to four a week. Oh, at yeah. Least. Sometimes four yeah. or five a week. Yeah. Jeez, that's a lot. Okay, so I prefer to use pipe cleaners on my ribbon. It just allows me to get a better bite on the stack that I have to work through. Thank you, Carol, for letting us know you got a shipment of those wire reeds forms in at the uh, allergy. Absolutely. I'll move these off. It just gives me more space to work. Board. This will be getting changed out soon because I'm going to have a friend of ours who's really, really into gorgeous woodworking. I'm like, I want him to design a really beautiful uh, board, right? So this is an 18 by 24 inch cutting board. It's three quarter inch thick. If you go to Home Depot or Lowe's, you can buy them already pre-cut in the lumber section to 24, 24, one inch. And then you just add a half inch to an inch C-hook. You can tap in a nail for when you're ready to do your probos. And then you pretty much have a, I call it a fluff board. It just allows me a flatter working space than being completely flat on the counter. So when you're fluffing your bow, all you're gonna do initially is separate tails from the loops on each side. So we have loop and tail. We go to the opposite side and we're going to pull the tail here and the loop out here. So we want loops across from each other and tails across from each other. And then you're going to go down and you're going to go the opposite for the next set. So you're going to bring these in between back to the other side. There's my loop and tail. And then this way it's staggering those color combinations. And then we're just gonna keep following it down. So here's our red, go back to the other side, and go this way and this way. I'm not fluffing yet, I'm just separating the colors. And I'm going to break the pattern of reds being all on one side and alter that right here. And then get this one straightened out in here. And then from here is where you want to open up all your loops. Make sure those tails get moved out of the way. They have a tendency of like wanting to overlap 
back where you already have your bows made. So I just keep pushing them out of my way. And there we have a really whimsical, pretty, watery, nautical bow. So we're going to take this off and get everything ready to go on the wreath. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is add my bow in one of the spaces that was occupied by the inside six. So I'm going to take this spot right here. This way I know where my frame is. We don't want to go too far in. Just trying to get it around the rail. And make sure our tails are out of the way, off to the side. Go ahead and attach it. And then just make all the stuff go where it needs to go. Now, the sign already comes with the wire off to the side. I know I'm going to have to um, add a hole to the bottom. The sign's going to kind of go off to the side here, like so, and then our lobster guy is going to kind of fit in here just like this. So with that being said, I might skip the holes in the top just because the one in the off here isn't gonna hit anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and punch a hole. And in the top and the bottom, I'm going to use 22 gauge floral wire. And I usually just eyeball the length about that much. We'll need this still to secure our lobster to the reef. So we're going to make sure they're even. Hi. Ravina asks, when you attach the bow to the frame, do you use two rails or just hit one? I go right in between, like yeah, above and below, right. so that I'm hitting one rail. So I'll flip it over and show you. Let me go ahead and do um, this. Laura, she normally uses pipe cleaners, but she doesn't do it too tight, the bow to the frame. She kind of floats it on the top. Yeah, it has to float. Otherwise, if I was to pull that all the way down to the frame, the frame is all the way down in here. So that bow would just be like collapsed like an alligator mouth. I'm just trying to keep my wire snug. Okay, so the question Narvina asked is about the bow. How is that being attached? So right now, this one's actually going through. It's taking the two inners but you could go with just one, as long as your pipe cleaner is hitting it above and below. It's gotta have an anchor point, so this one just happens to have two sitting on it. And I'm gonna go back in here, kind of tuck this, nestle it right in. Okay. Try to make sure. You always want to feel to make sure you have a top and a bottom rail, an anchor point. So I'm going to pull this one up. Man, I did a way too long wire. Mm -hmm. That's right, don't that. Yeah, I will. Okay. 
this will probably, it does. I was gonna say, it's probably gonna sit right where my inner pipe cleaner was. So I'm gonna angle it a little bit more towards the center. There we go. So pull all this back in. Kind of like a little pyramid the bow the sign and the lobster so let me cut these off so i don't have to hear it scrape every time i go to turn it and make sure you know those things from hobby lobby it was a couple of years ago so i'm not sure if hobby lobby will still have this this year, but it's super cute. So I'm and just gonna... yeah, the sign is attached the same way as the bow is. There we go. Okay. So now we need to fasten the lobster down. So I like to make them to where my plush could technically be removed if the person wants to remove him and say, I don't know, take him off and give him to somebody who's lobster lover. So I am going to, it's gonna kind of sit just a bit under the bow, just like so. Still need to show his little claws. So let's bring him down just a bit. Um, floral wire. We're just going to anchor his midsection to the design. So right about here. This is why I love 22 gauge floral wire because it's so easy. I don't need a needle and thread. I'm just going to twist it just so that it doesn't pull out. And go right back to my frame. There's one. This reminds me of your mom's final request for dinner was lobster. Yeah. She wanted lobster. Okay. So we're going to tuck him in there pretty tight. Still want his claws to be free. Kathy, the lobster actually came from uh, the Boston Logan Airport in one of their gift shops, but you can find several lobsters online and clutch like that. I don't like him because he has really. He's got really good claws. He's got really good eyes. Yeah. His eyes just look like, I don't know, they look like shark eyes. <laughs> They're just solid black. So it just makes them a tad bit cuter. Okay, so now we're gonna go around and we're gonna embellish all the way around the outside because remember we moved the inside ones. Um, to do that, we have three different color ribbons. So they're going to be three different color combinations. So we have the red and the white, we have our lobster, and we have our blue jeans. And then to pair those colors, we're going to take, um, I wanted it here, but it looks weird to kind of do it this way. Maybe not, and do it this way. So those are going to be my ribbon combinations. So I'm just going to alter what goes on them. So I'm, the two and a half inch ribbons are cut to 14 inch pieces. I'm actually going to do this one. And then we'll do the blue jean. And then we'll do the red. And then this way they're popping the red, white, and blues again 
all the way through this design. Okay, so it's a pretty lovely color choices. Thank you. It has a lovely water ribbon. I know, isn't this cute? It comes on natural and then it comes on the white. Obviously for this design, we had to have the white. Well, yeah, she has used the Christmas tree unique and the creep board before. Mm -hmm. like, to make the Christmas tree. Video, yeah. yeah, the Christmas tree wreath. Yeah, we've done a lighted uh, yeah. green and a white and a blue, mm -hmm. the winter one. Okay, making sure I don't skip any of my pipe cleaners. Polar blue. And so you know what color combinations are going to go on top of which. Yeah, I really like the dark blue in this because it really pops with the red. It was the funny when I was looking at the photos of the one I did back in 2019. I was like, what is the black ribbon I had? And I was like, oh, it's the, the darker dark blue. denim. Yeah. Yeah, most of the color combo was incredible. Uh, yeah, just everything when you start looking at the ribbons, the little ripple, the watery, mm -hmm. wavy blue. It was cute. Vera, uh, she came in late. The um, two and a half lobster inch uh, lobster is from Craft Outlet. Mm -hmm. Every it's Everything is Craft Outlet except for the navy blue jean, which is Hobby Lobby. Okay. It's the easiest way to do it because it's like Steve has to go through and decode all my my writing and I was like everything except the blue jean craft outlet or craft outlet at that time this just feels so nice to work with too the blue jean oh Lobster. And the nice thing about using your tails oh. and half bows underneath is um, they kind of make for an extension on the bow so that it just makes it seem like the bow goes a little further than it does. Last three. Yeah, so the blue jean looks like it's a little fuzzy on the top. It is. It's, it is. The, it's like the it literally is denim. Yeah, it's yeah. very denim. Like, it's just like thin denim jeans. Chris said, wow, blue jean ribbon, interesting. It, it, Hobby Lobby, they have the faded blue and then obviously like the brand new, yeah. the darker blue. Yeah. When your jeans are new and then when your jeans are faded. Hold this last one. But yeah, the sides of the blue jean are warm. So yeah, they have little frays. Frays to it. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is going up under our lobster a little bit. Okay, then we'll come back in and I'm gonna be adding these are half bows, so these inch and a half pieces are cut to 18 inches. Um, you just bring your dovetailed edges together and then about two inches from the very top you're going to pinch those in and we are going to secure those inside and then what you do is you just open the loop, you kind of pull the V's apart so that they're like this. And then it allows you to show both ribbons. And then we're gonna go just back around, add this, 
And then believe it or not, we're actually gonna come back in and add some flux tubing as well. We're gonna yeah. give it that little rope look. What? Yeah, soon they'll have the denim ribbon with holes in it. Yeah, <laughs> let's hope not. Yeah, let's yeah. hope not. Not Karen, my favorite. Yeah, Karen, it's so good to catch you on here. I usually catch you on YouTube, but can't do any because of the new talk spot. So welcome, Karen. Oh, nice. Glad to have you join us. Mr. Vocal is here. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I hear you. Yep. Always have something to say. All the time. Please. <laughs> A very long time. You guys go that way. I don't. Ready? Look at that one. <laughs> That's weird. No, he hasn't done that in a long time. He has not done that in so long. Because we usually try to feed him. I think you smell the lobster. Maybe. No yeah. problem, Kathy. Have a good evening. Have a good weekend. Um, Charlotte I says, I love, love, love it. Lobster is my favorite food. It is, right? That sounds pretty good. <laughs> I know, right? Lobster does sound really good. To be at the beach on a hot summer day like today, um, enjoying some lobster. I think I'd enjoy it more if it was on the East Coast. You know? Last couple pieces. We're about halfway done. What are you doing? There we go. Uh, watery ribbon. Just kind of tie all this in. Being said, I had headphones on and was looking around for a cat. I know, oh, right? Well. He's very vocal. That's just his breed. Although it's not very fun when he does it at like two or three o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And we're like, shut up, go back to bed. It's for him, it's like, where'd you guys go? I want to play. He ate his cookie. Mm -hmm. He's all gone. I can't wait to add just the little touch of rope to the to this. Okay. Water. Lobster and water. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Back to you, Bolu. Working under the ribbon. Sometimes it's a challenge. That's why sometimes I prefer to go all the way around the outside, do all the outside pieces. And then it allows me to just work the top without having to come back in and refluff the bow every time you've got to go underneath or. Yeah, so this wreath is adorable. The rope will really make it. Thank you. I didn't even get a chance to list this one yet. That's what I was in the process of doing. And I got sidetracked doing something else. Okay. Okay. Yep, almost done. <laughs> I just gotta add the, whatchamacallit, the um, 
the flex tubing and then trim off my, whatchamacallit, pipe cleaners. It's so hard for me not to, to do this now because it's like, oh, technically you could end right now if you didn't want to come back in and add even more, right? So, let's do, we're doing the snowdrift rope, and this is going to go on our red. So let me go ahead and do that. Usually I do about four inches, and see, look, that was perfect. And then on the blue, we're going to apply the red. Or I might just go every other one since technically the, both colors apply. Let's see. Because I've got to make that decision ahead of time. Okay. Do I want to add? I know I want to add. I have like the glitter, but I don't think I want to do the glitter. No. So there's no other sparkle. If I had like, if I was using metallic mesh, I think I would. So this is just going to go right underneath. I have those and just give them something extra. Spray can is great for a beach house. It's great for like a seafood restaurant. They can put it in their lobby. Yeah, that would be super cute. I always said the people that were selling seafood at your farmer's market or yeah, wherever. Yeah, I like the alternating. So we're just going to alternate the colors all the way through. So you want to make sure you keep your loops open on your half bows. Sounds like other people are having problems logging in and out too because I see people coming back in and watching. It, yeah. There's something going on with Facebook Connection tonight. Phone. Yeah. It's Friday, right? So sorry for you, those that are getting kicked off. Have to come back in. Off. Yeah, we got kicked off for a while. All right. So we're just making it extra festive and fun. Why is it? All right, Linda, she said this would be a cute decoration to hide a lobby at a Red Lobster. Right? Any seafood restaurant, yeah. Exactly. That's where I was picturing that. Or at the fish market. Market. What's the other one? There's another one. That's a seafood one. Market Boiler. Is it Market Boiler? I think so. What's the one that Bass Pro Shop has? That's Something the fish. Mm -hmm. I, don't like, I can't remember. It's a fish something. So the whole object is you can still see all the ribbon. There we go.
very, very thick and full. Back to this. We just got new neighbors today. We're sad to yeah. see our old neighbors leave. It's very sad. Loved having her live next door. I'm gonna pull it up really quick. There's like a bunch of different options of those plush lobsters on Amazon. Oh. They're around ten to twelve dollars. Same bad. one? Uh very, very close. Okay. They're, they're a little variation. It's all dark eyes? Some have dark eyes, some have white with black. Yeah, I like them all black. <clears throat> yeah, but they have a couple with black, but then they have a little like feelers coming out. Oh, I like the no feeler yeah. look. I don't know, he just he's clean shaven, right? Saw that. Thank you, Debbie. She said, Love the sweet, so fun and colorful. Thank you. Here is the one down in the rancho. A couple more pieces. Funny, I always think, oh, well, I don't need my scissors anymore. No, yeah, I do. I have to cut the jute tubing. Back to the outside. I love this mesh. It's called Snowdrift Jute Mesh. So it's super fuzzy and soft. Few more, and then we're done. I think this is the first time in a long time you haven't removed your glue gun for this. Right? <laughs> I'm trying really hard to just find other ways besides gluing everything. I mean, it's tough if you're doing seashells. Mm -hmm. Yes, you could wire them, but I'm not a wired fan of wiring seashells in. Could. Just not my mm -hmm. my thing. I'm trying to keep his tail. Up. Last bit. So the red is done. Nope. Oh, have one more piece of red to go. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I thought I started right under the lobster, but I didn't. Hoping I'm making it in the trash can. <laughs> kind of judged where it should be. And go from there. Okay. This is done. piece and this is just called um jeep mesh or jeep mesh tubing okay. i hear it hit the trash so mm -hmm. Okay. Again, like I said, just make sure all your loops are open. Let us take this off. <laughs> Kathy Green said, close to the lobster in love, the heart. Aww. <laughs> I love that. Okay. Here he is. Let's get him up. So average size door, this is what he looks like on the door. I'll get him all ready for taking the photos. Make sure we don't have any hanging threads that are horribly unattractive. 
Let me make sure we share that lobster ribbon. What do you guys think? You think that one lobster tail off the bow is too long? It kind of Where? hides some of the lettering. Here? Yeah. I'll move it for a second. I haven't gotten that far. I can just turn this. Turn it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Gravity. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Gravity. Irvina said, beautiful. Thanks, Irvina. Thank you. Hopefully he'll stay. He won't become dinner. He'll just be just the way he's supposed to be. And he lives long. Okay. Give it lots of loves and likes. Lots of lobsters. You know how to make the lobster? Yeah. Emoticon? I don't know how. I'd have to scroll down and look for the little lobster emoji. You just, you just type lobster and a little em emoji comes up. There you go. Okay. So there you guys have it. Um, Sunday for our public group at 6, we're um, doing a bow making class. So all we're going to do is make bows. Um, two at least. I doubt we'll get through three. Um, we'll be using Bodabra and the Pro Bow. So if you've had a Pro Bow and you haven't pulled it out, um, now would be the time to do so. We'll look at what the differences between them are, how you can make some variations to them. But um, that's pretty much about it. Any last minute questions? Nope. Uh, you tell them about the private group. Uh, private group. If you guys would like to join me in the private group, you get four design classes, four business classes, and I, let me just break down the business. All it is is Facebook, Pinterest, Etsy, Instagram, and shipping and everything like that. So it kind of takes it, anything that isn't related to a design is a business class. So those are the things that you'll find there. Materials list for public and private lives, Discounts from our vendors plus over 200 videos in the private group library are all accessible to you. Catscreationsandmore.com. Go to the private group. Click on that if that's what you'd like to do. And it's been on the bottom, so you can just click on the link. Awesome. See, he makes it easy. All right, everyone. We'll have a great rest of the weekend. Enjoy your weekend, and I'll talk to you on Sunday. Good night, everyone.